and I thought I'd escape the cold drabness of the great British winter from the last video. I'm out here again, this time testing out Panasonic's latest firmware, version 3.1 or 3.2. I'll leave a link to all the firmware in the description, along with a link with how to actually update your camera. So there's a bunch of new modes, MP4 Lite, you can shoot in open gate in MP4 Lite, basically just means it's really good for social media. You can use the whole of the sensor, the whole sensor area, and get like a square crop, a nine by 16, a 16 by nine. There's new frame guides to go along with that, which is really cool. But the features I'm most interested in by far are the hybrid zoom and the crop zoom. I do a lot of wildlife photography and it's really nice to be able to crop in a little bit more. And I actually used to use the inbuilt teleconverter in the camera. Now that feature is nowhere to be found because it's been replaced by these features. Now hybrid zoom is essentially a digital zoom. You might have used digital zoom before, probably in your mobile phones. When you zoom in, it's probably a digital zoom. The more you zoom in though, the worse the quality gets. On the other hand, we have crop zoom, which is a similar sort of thinking, but actually crops in on the sensor itself. The camera has a 6K sensor. Now it can crop in on that sensor to effectively change the field of view. It's really smart and it seems to work really seamless. But I wanna know if there is any reduction in quality on both of these modes, because if there isn't, I'm gonna be using these all the time. And if it isn't obvious, I'm actually shooting right now with that mode and it's really cold. So we're gonna go and test these modes out. And because we don't like to do things by halves, we're testing this with the Signal 150 to 600. Now I'm gonna take some shots without the zoom features on there, and then we're gonna go through the zoom modes as well. And this is just to see how crazy the distance is. So right now we're at 150, and as I zoom in, we just start seeing the numbers going up. And this should probably stop at 600. There we go. So if anyone doesn't know, this is Coton Court, which is like really far away at the moment and they're undergoing some work at the moment. So that's at 600. So next we're going to try crop zoom. Start zooming in and 937 millimeter equivalent focal length now. You're good at maths, so it's 600. Now it's got 930, round it to 930. About 55%. Something yeah, like or 1.5. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we've essentially cropped in 1.5 times which is really quite impressive so i'm going to start zooming in let's see what happens so 937 again we'll hold that for a little bit what do you think the quality looks like is there a significant loss in quality or detail let me know in the comments below right <laughs> So, if you think we're done, we're not. We have a 1.4 teleconverter, so we're going to push this as far as we can go. So, we had 937 millimeters. We're going to add a 1.4 teleconverter and we're going to see what this does. Now, a couple of things you need to be aware of. It is not a great day, and we're doing these tests outside. So, you've got to take them with a pinch of salt because there's a lot of atmosphere from between here to our target subject that will affect things like sharpness. So hopefully it will give you a general idea. And when you stick this on, it's also going to go down a step as well, meaning it's going to be a little bit darker. So now we've got the 1.4 teleconverter on, we're going to go into crop mode and we're going to zoom in. So we're going to zoom all the way in. Then I'm going to press this button over here to turn access to crop. I'm going to press this button to turn the crop on. Okay, so now this is using crop mode. And uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> 1,312 millimeter equivalent. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. And in crop mode, we shouldn't have any noticeable effect of the actual quality either. So quality should be exactly the same. Yeah, that's, that's pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. Let's try the zoom mode now. So I'll hold this for a few seconds. So I'll get some good sample footage. And then what I'll do is we'll try the zoom. So now we've switched over to hybrid zoom. So this is going to apply a digital crop. Let's see how well it does. So I'm going to start zooming in. And there we go. So we're, again, we are at 13, over 1300 uh, in terms of focal equivalent. That's so cool. That, that, that's pretty amazing. I'm holding the shot. Let me know, can you see any significant difference in quality and again 
we are pretty far away from coat and court at the moment and it is not a great day so the weather will impact sharpness it's not exactly a lab test but use your eyes does it look good let me know in the comments below this is getting pretty crazy now but we can get crazier we're actually going to stick on the image stabilization boost mode which gives around a 1.5 times crop and this is what the footage looks like with that on that's cropped in by 1.5 times so i don't know man so approximately 1300 add 1 1.5 times what's that so close to 2000 so <laughs> we're close to 2000 now jeez look at that and it i don't pretty good quality as well yeah quality still looks great it should be technically be even sharper with the crop mode so i'm going to switch back to the crop mode now let's have a look this is cropped in on the image sensor, which effectively has been cropped in even more because of the hybrid, uh, because of the image stabilization boost. So we are 1312, I believe it was. That's a significant amount of extra focal length added on, essentially 656 millimeters of extra focal length added on. That's pretty insane. So this has been a really, really fun test. Okay, so we're out of the lab and we're actually in my new house which is why this video has taken a few weeks to get over to you it's just been really really busy time for me so some of you may have loved those tests but others may be saying it wasn't a good gauge of the quality because of this amount of atmosphere between myself and the target subject well here are a few more tests and this time i'm in the house however i will put an asterisk and say there is natural light going on outside and it was changing quite regularly but we're not looking at exposure we're looking at image quality so look for detail is there any detail lost in any of these modes this is using the 24 to 105 zoomed into 105 set to f4 this is just the sample shot here we are looking at the crop zoom everything looks very sharp to me i personally don't see anything wrong with this i'm going to note to you as well that i try to count my head turned so I could do it exactly the same in every single shot but I just completely mismatched that so you've been warned then we can look at hybrid zoom I don't see any difference to be totally honest with you maybe it's a fraction softer I personally can't tell the difference if you can let me know in the comments below because that would be interesting to know next I compared them side by side and again I can't tell the difference so does that mean there isn't a difference no not at all there could be some difference in detail, although it's not very clear to my eye, but one very apparent difference is that hybrid zoom has a lot more jello effect than crop zoom. So what is the reason for this? Well, my theory is every time you crop the sensor, it's not physically putting a crop on the sensor, but in a sense, it kind of is. So it's using a smaller portion of the sensor. That means the read speed from top to bottom is ultimately gonna be a lot faster because it has a shorter distance to read. Whereas hybrid zoom, I think it's a piece of technology that is applied to the sensor as a whole. And it's kind of, um, I don't want to say an illusion, but because it's still reading from top to bottom, the whole sensor, ultimately we're still going to have a slower readout speed. For video, use crop mode. Now I know with photography, you're going to want to shoot in RAW and JPEG. That way you are going to have both files and ultimately this effect will only be baked into the JPEGs. I would rather have both files so that I can do all the cropping in post afterwards. So is that making my job easier or harder? Well, my philosophy is to simply get as much right in camera as you can. You, yes, you can crop in post, but there are things that these relatively low resolution camera screens and quite small screens, you may miss if you're in the moment and then you, you blow it up onto a huge screen, you're gonna see things that might be wrong. For example, you may have ever so slightly missed focus on your subject. Well, if you can crop in, in the moment, get the crop you want, you know that when you take it back to the edit sweep, you can get that crop and everything should be fine. It's also worth noting that with the crop zoom, I don't know if this will apply to hybrid zoom, but every time you crop a sensor, then yes, you're gonna increase the readout speed, but also you're going to decrease the amount of surface area of the sensor, meaning you're gonna get less light in total. So if you cropped in 1.5 times, then you're gonna lose a stop of light. 
So that is also worth noting. Now this may put some people off, but honestly the best thing you can do with your camera is just to try it and see if it works. Because I've been in the moment now where I've had a shot and I've got the shot because I've used the technology and it's really, really useful. These tests have been really, really fun. I'd love to know if you're gonna use this technology yourself. For me, I absolutely am, and I've actually used it on a wedding already, and I was able to get a nice close-up of a kiss, which uh, would have been very difficult as I was stood right at the back of a church. I was shooting with that 35-150, but I still didn't quite have enough reach, so that like crop zoom really saved the day. These firmware updates by Panasonic have been very, very crucial in keeping the cameras feeling fresh. If you've seen me post in any of the forums, you know I have some concerns about where Panasonic is going, but it does look like things are on the up and up, and it looks as though we have some cameras on the horizon. Now, one rumoured camera is the s one r Mark II. Now, this really excites me because the ultimate expression of this hybrid and crop zoom technology would be a high-resolution sensor and preferably a faster readout sensor, it would be absolutely mind-blowing to be able to crop in on, say, a 45 megapixel or a 60 megapixel sensor to the same standard that I've done today and still have all those megapixels stacked in there. Although if you crop in the sensor, you'll be losing megapixels, but comparatively, you're gonna end up with more megapixels if that makes any sense whatsoever. If you've enjoyed the video, then please subscribe, hit the bell icon. It'd be really cool in helping me grow the channel. I'd love to get to over a thousand subscribers. If you're gonna use the technology, let me know in the comments and don't forget to stay tuned because I've got even more videos coming out very, very soon. I'll catch you all next time. Bye.